just want to do a quick little video here. I just got done going to my raw food store and um, I got these two just for now. I'm going to go back and get more, but I have um, actually clients coming today in my salon. So I thought I'd run over and grab something really quick just to show you guys. Um, this one here is the rib bone and because, you know, I got the pup, two puppies here and majority of my dogs are on the small side. Um, I got the smaller size rib bones. So these are rib bones here and I got the meat on them still and they're completely raw. They're frozen, so I, I, I let them sit in the sink and thaw out. Um, and then this one here, this is something new I'm trying for today, but it's, they're going to love it. They're emu necks or something like that. It's all pretty disgusting, guys, but you do get used to it. And I always feed these to the dogs when they're outside. Um, that way they're not bringing all this, um, eating it in the house, right? Because it's kind of gross and, and, you know, you got the raw meat. That's kind of not really something you want to take a chance with. But um, So that's what I got for today. Um, I'll probably go back and get maybe some chicken feed and some other little goodies. <laughs> um, and I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date with the kind of stuff that I usually buy for my for my puppies. And, and of course, Mama. Yes, and you too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Good luck if you decide to go this route. I do feel that the, um, the raw treats are best for them because it does help with their teeth too. So it, it's healthy stuff for them. So anyways, take care. Bye-bye.